Jamming at full power. Caption. Climate disruption array now at 20%. We count three class 5 hurricanes already, another dozen forming. I want 100% within eight hours, Lieutenant Gulen. By order of the Emperor, Naboo is to be scoured. Gulen and Le Duvat during the meeting, gigantic storms suddenly began to rage, and Naboo's orbital sensors were all jammed. The Empire had set up a climate disruption array in orbit, as ordered by the late Emperor Palpatine. Named Operation Cinder, the Empire's plan was to disrupt Naboo's environment and climate, and thus render the planet inhospitable. The storms caused fires and flooding across the world, and many buildings were demolished. Saruna, Organa, and Alliance pilot Shara Bay finally decided to use three old N1 starfighters, that had been stored by Queen Mietni in the Thede hangar during the Clone Wars, and go protect Naboo by destroying the Empire's satellites. Once in space, the three women were attacked by a squadron of TIE fighters, but managed, nonetheless, to knock out all of the satellites. A rebel fleet led by Lando Calrissian and Nine Nunbi soon arrived to take care of the Imperial forces. The fleet consisted of members of Danger Squadron, which arrived in T-65BX wing starfighters led by Danger Leader Duro Shriv Suorgav, Nunbi in the Melcrawler II, and the MC-80 Star Cruiser Restoration. Danger Squadron temporarily included former Inferno Squad members and recent Imperial defectors Aiden Versio and Del Mico to assist the three women in the destruction of the satellites. After their destruction, the Imperial II-class Star Destroyer Torment was then engaged by Danger Squadron and several Y-Wing bombers, and the restoration delivered the fatal blow to the hull of the Torment. The Alliance forces then gathered upon the ground to immobilize remaining Imperials in the final ground assault to try and take control of Thede. Imperial forces were immobilized by the Ion Pulse rendering all of their weapons and vehicles inoperable leading to the surrender of Imperial forces. Due to the fact that Naboo had been the Emperor's homeworld, the planet became a rallying point for Imperial sympathizers. Months after the failed operation, Cinder, the Imperial Navy deployed three attack forces to wipe out the New Republic's presence in the Naboo system. However, these attempts were successfully foiled by Corona Squadron.